Hey YouTube, it's your girl Miss Honey Bee, and I'm here with my very first cooking video. Woo woo! So, um, now I'm making tacos and nachos. The same tacos that I made for my binge last week. But the only thing is, last week I used yellow corn tacos for, um, yellow corn tortillas for the tacos. Which brought two tacos to 375 calories. This time, what I'm about to show you, I used white corn tacos. And it bumped the calories up for two tacos, um, 405 calories. So everything you see with the two tacos is 405 calories, which is different from what you saw on Instagram, which was 375. And everything you see with the nachos was 375 calories altogether. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace. So here's the ground turkey that I'm using. And I just use half of that. It's like about half a pound or less, a little less than a half a pound. But use whatever you like because I'm not going to use, um, I'm not going to make a lot. Here's the meat right here. I added water to it because it got a little bit more clumpier than I would have liked it to be. been. So I'm just going to let it sit here off the top, you know, off the hot part of the stove. And just like dissolve down a little bit. Um, you don't have to put water in it if you don't want to. I'm just doing it. It, I don't know where I learned this. I'm just doing it. So, so you you guys already saw the kind of stuff that um, I got for the tacos. It's basically the same stuff except for this time I'm using white flour tortillas um, because the yellow ones are good, but they were a little bit too sweet for my taste. So, and um, this is just like the Southwest. Uh, salsa it still has the white corn and the black beans in it and everything else you know the cheddar cheese and sour cream so this has been sitting there for a minute um, I'm about to start back cooking it so yeah okay so that's cooking down pretty good I'm about to add in the taco seasoning mix the um, some chili powder and um, some poppy seeds and of course if you follow me on Instagram you know I put hot sauce on everything and black pepper okay so I added the um, the uh, what is it taco stuff and now I'm about to put just a little teeny bit of chili powder in there so so little bit yeah little teeny bit um, I'm going to put some poppy seed. Oh my gosh. Hold up. Put some poppy seed. I like a lot of poppy seed. So, yeah. You don't have to add this stuff. I just like my stuff to be a little interesting. Yeah. Alright. And some hot peppers. I mean, not hot peppers. Hot peppers. And some hot sauce, just a couple splashes, you know. So I'm gonna let it boil out and add the pepper after it settles. And um, let me just keep, you know, keeping up with it, stirring it here and there. So this is pretty much fizzed out. I turned the stove off on that. I got my two tortillas in the oven, warming. Hey. So I got my two warm tortillas here. I got my taco meat right here. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take some sour cream, which is one, this is about one tablespoon. This, this spoon is a small spoon, so just playing it by eyes. Oops. I can't do this one. Now I'm going to add the meat. Or should I add the uh, lettuce? Um, I'll add the lettuce first, I think, yeah. Okay, so I ended up putting sour cream lettuce and then sour cream meat on uh, that one. So I'm going to see which one tastes better. I'm going to put a little bit of cheese now on here. You don't need that much cheese, but add the cheese. And then... I'm going to add the salsa. Okay, so before I put the salsa, I'm going to go ahead and add the meat to this one first. And now I'm going to add the salsa. 
Now this salsa has black beans, onions, corn, um, and some other stuff that I'll read off to you in a minute. Just add in one spoon. Okay. okay, so this salsa has no fat. It's only 15 calories for two tablespoons. So that's less than two tablespoons, but I would just say it's two tablespoons. So that was 15 calories. Um, it has tomatoes in it. It has white corn and black beans, bell peppers, green peppers. So that's the salsa. I love the fact that it has beans because I love beans. So let me add a little bit of lettuce to this one over here. So I'm going to let you guys know which um, tastes better if I put the meat first or the lettuce first. Okay, so I took a bite out of both. This is what they look like. It's so freaking good. Okay, both of them are extremely good. But definitely the one that I put the lettuce first tastes a little bit better. Just a little teeny bit. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make the nachos. Okay, so for the nachos, I took some of the meat out because I don't want to make it all for nachos. So... I'm going to add some salsa to this. All right. And then I'm going to add some cheese straight off. Straight off. I think that's enough. And then I'm going to mix this up. So I mixed in the cheese and now I'm about to pop it in the microwave real fast. All right, for about 20 seconds, just to melt the cheese and warm it up. Okay, so I just got it out in the microwave. The cheese has melted in with it. So all you gotta do is either do a dollop, do, do a dollop of daisy, like that. That was one spoon. And if you want, you can put a little lettuce on it or around it if you choose to or however you like your nachos and then I got some so here are the nachos you guys it's eight nachos here for ten of these nachos right here is a hundred and forty calories for ten here is eight so you can it's basically the same amount of calories as the tortillas because I just replaced the tortillas out with the chips but it might be a little less depending on how many chips you use. And, and this is what it looks like. Homemade ground turkey nachos. Yum, yum, yum.